bought another stylophone. This one was off eBay, and it was cheap because it's used. Uh, this is one of the older models. As you can see, it's not the Gen X. I have the Gen X right here beside me. Let's get on with the video. This is kind of like the iPad, the iPod classic of stylophones. It's not quite the oldest, but it's one of the original ones that was most well known for its time. There's one, there's one or two models before this, I believe. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section. But this is the original from what I know. I know there was like an older one, but I don't really count that since that was like at the start of the company. It was like the Apple one of stylophones. So I kind of count this as the first one. Okay, so let's look at the differences here between this one and the Gen X. So if we put them side by side, one of these is actually smaller than the other, and that it would be the, the OG, is what I'll call it for now. Uh, it's actually smaller, which makes sense because it doesn't have this whole panel on it with all the different knobs and oscillators. They did keep some of the things the same on both these models. For example, they both have audio in and audio out ports on them. However, if we flip them over, you can see that this one is not only black on the bottom, has screws and has a little knob, but this one doesn't have a little knob on here. It might, to be fair, there might have been a knob and it came off because it kind of looks like that. Not 100% sure. But the bottom's white, and there's also no screws at all on this thing, which is kind of annoying if you ever want to open it up and try to repair it if it breaks. It does have some features that the newer one doesn't have, though. For example, it has a little switch vibrato, which is just almost like reverb. Not not really reverb, but kind of like a kind of like an echo. It, I think it's a secondary oscillator inside that makes it vibrato, as, it's, as it calls it. Um, and although we can't change the cutoff, or the res, or the depth, or rate, or anything, or the waveform, there is three different synth voices in here. Only three, but it's still three. And then, as I showed you before, there's, there's this one filter, which is vibrato. And then a volume switch. And that's it's pretty it's pretty barren, pretty primitive compared to the other one. Uh, it's actually a lot lighter, even for its size. Like obviously it's smaller, so it'll be lighter, but it's it's even lighter for its size. But enough of the boring stuff. I'm sure you want to hear it play by now. So that was actually voice two. So if we switch it to one, it does sound drastically different. Okay, maybe not that different, but you get the point. Alright, switch back. Switch back to voice two. And then finally voice three. I do like having two of these because they both sound very different for a comparison. Here's the stylophone Gen X. Um, I have tried a lot, by the way, in case any of you were wondering, to try to make these sound the same, because this has so many knobs, you would think that you'd be able to, like, tune it to the same sound as this one. Not possible. I couldn't even get something remotely close. But if anyone has a Gen X and they could tune it to sound like the original, uh, tell me down below. 
and then tell me how, because I'd like to know. Let's see what's inside now. Uh, I am going to have to pull this open, which there's a little, um, well, it's hard to see on camera. There's a little tab right here. You can see where the plastic is kind of torn up a little. I tried to open it. Um, I didn't open it, though, so this will be my first time, I guess. I also made a little, I wouldn't say song, but a little clip of audio with only the stylophone, um, the OG one. I made a little clip of music, and I'll I'll put that over top of the, the taking apart part of this. It's only like 40 seconds long. gonna pull up this big board because there's not much interesting underneath or the small one this is literally just the turn on and off switch or I think that's what it is well no this yeah this is power and the vibrato switch so there's nothing really cool down here and then this is just all the keys and the trace points so that's not very interesting uh, this is actually the most intriguing you could say board on here um, so it's powered off of a 555 five, five, this little guy right here and from what i can tell this is kind of simple um i have you know it's nice comment down below if you want to see i have some of these so i could probably build one of these circuits uh, i have all the parts i specifically bought 555 five, five chips Assuming this would arrive broken since it was so cheap, but it works perfectly fine So now I have enough stuff to build a new one or I Guess another oscillator not a new style stylophone uh, I could probably get another one of these used that's broken and just Like replace the entire board then or build my own. I wouldn't be too difficult um, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory how this works. Well, not really, but it is for me. Um, so I believe this, this leg right here is negative, and then this and one would be positive. I haven't checked it with a multimeter, but from a schematic sheet, I think that's how it works. And then we've got a little PNP down here. Yeah, so pretty pretty simple components, actually. So if you ever would want to build one of these, you could you could probably just replace this whole board right here with a simple potentiometer if you wanted a really simple, simple um, oscillator. See you guys in the next one.